big day on the channel because we are unboxing a new beautiful weapon that we're gonna put in the bag and we're gonna take out on course. I'll be playing tomorrow actually. We'll be playing some golf and we're gonna be taking this weapon out on course to review it for you. I'll give you a little sneak peek before we actually open it, but it is from Cobra. This club I'm really excited about and there's some interesting features to it that we're gonna to discover together. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. Now, before we do that, we've got a bit of a giveaway here on the channel. If you missed it, we were giving Blue Tees rangefinders to you and a friend. And I gotta say, there was only five or six entries. So the folks that are entered have a really good chance of winning these rangefinders that I have in front of me. All you had to do for this contest was get someone to come over to the channel and subscribe. You and a buddy would be entered. And there's only a few people here that have entered. So we're gonna draw a name right now and see who wins these. Right after we do, we're gonna go ahead and unbox my new weapon. All right, so we're gonna use the two buddy pick a winner tool. Where are you? There we go. We're gonna go ahead and pick a winner. And here it is. Where's my drum roll? I need a drum roll. <laughs> Ah, uh, we don't need a drum roll. Let's do it. Brian Walker, you just won yourself a new range fire. Miles sent me, I think that's our friend Miles Martin Golf. I'll have to dive deeper, but congratulations, guys. You just won yourselves $400 worth of range finders from Blue Tees and Let's Play Through. Now, if you didn't get in that contest, I'm sorry, but make sure that you've got notifications turned on that you're subscribed to Let's Play Through and that you watch all these videos because we're giving away stuff all the time. We've given away golf bags, range finders, watches, all sorts of things. So stay tuned here on Let's Play Through. All right, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this new golf club behind me and have some fun. All right, my friends, we are here. Uh, I'm going to use a very special knife to open this actually because one of our viewers a few videos back was saying, well, how can you be opening up a box with scissors? That's that's uh, sacrilegious. So I'm gonna use this beautiful blade. My buddy named Dylan Grace, he has the Dylan Grace Blade Company. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's what we're gonna use to unbox this today. Um, all right, so you, as you can see, this came straight from Cobra. All right, and uh, we're gonna see what's inside of here. It's something that's going to be unique to me. I have never played anything quite like this, and I will explain why here in just a second. All right, here we go. Are you ready? We're gonna unbox this thing together. Dun, dun, dun! Let's bring it this way. Ooh. Little packaging there. As you can see, it is a driver. this up. Nicely bubble wrapped. Alright, before we get into the main event here, nice looking head cover. It is a rad speed. Very nice looking head cover there. There's a lot of plastic here. There she is. It's nice and soft. Good material. That C is for Cobra. New logo, I'm pretty sure, from Cobra. What else do we have here? We got other stuff here. I know, I know. You're like, come on, who cares about this? Let's see the let's see the main attraction though. The foreplay, guys, the foreplay. Nice looking tool there. Nice looking tool. That's sturdy. Little hex. What I like now is that pretty much all the clubs use, I think maybe all of them, use the same hex screw. It seemed used to be that there was different versions of these, but now they're all pretty much the same. If you got one, you got them all. But that's nice, Cobra branded, beautiful. I'll give you a quick peek at the shaft here. I went with the Hazardous Blue shaft. This is my first time playing the Hazardous Blue. This is a 60 gram low spin model. On, as you know, a rad speed is a low spin driver. We've got the nine degree, okay? But the loft can be adjusted anywhere from seven and a half to 10 and a half. That's a pretty big range there, guys. Again, stiff flex, 60 gram, hazardous blue. 
lots of adjustability, but there's more to this driver than meets the eye. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. There you go. Got that sticker over the radial waiting there. It's absolutely beautiful. This is like a matte finish. It's even nicer than the one I demoed in the store. The other thing I want to say about this is it comes standard with the Arcos Caddy Grips. They're calling this Cobra Connect. So if you buy any Rad Speed, you're going to have automatic option to have the Cobra Connect Arcos Caddy. And if you don't know about Arcos, you should check it out. We will be doing a full review of the Arcos system here on the channel really soon. But basically, uh, it'll track all your shots. You've got a virtual caddy option with it, and uh, it does a lot more. Keep track of all your stats and whatnot. So there you go, That's, there's that Cobra Connect grip. Again, just an absolute stunner. All right, now if you can see this, both of my drivers are on the ground right now. This driver, the new Cobra, is the one on my right. And as you can see, it's just about one inch shorter, okay? One inch shorter. And that's because this driver is the tour length, okay? Standard driver is generally gonna come from the manufacturer at 45 and a half degrees. This new tour model from Rad Speed, tour length model is going to be an inch shorter at 44 and a half inches. And that's because Ricky Fowler out on the PGA Tour has actually been playing a 43 and a half inch driver. Uh, and some of the tour players actually play a shorter shafted driver. Now they say that because of the weighting that they've added to this driver, they've added two weights, one 16 grams, one's another six grams. Between those weights and this shorter shaft, you really shouldn't give up much distance, but what you're supposed to be able to be gaining here is a quite a bit more accuracy. So I'm hoping this can be a fairway finder for me, and we will be testing that here tomorrow on course. Again, we've got the hazardous blue 60 gram stiff shaft. Now this is sort of a lower to mid spin shaft, also kind of a lower to mid trajectory shaft. Now couple that with the fact that this driver here is a low spinning driver and kind of a lower to mid trajectory driver. We're gonna see if I can get this thing off the ground. I'm hoping that because the shaft's just a little bit shorter, it's gonna be easier for me, but we won't know until we test it. Sniff test. It passes the sniff test. <laughs> this is actually one of the nicest looking drivers I've ever felt. Feels very modern. I feel like I'm playing a club from 2021. I love the matte finish with these kind of metallic yellow accents to them. This is an absolutely beautiful club. As you can see, this club, not too deep of a face. Um, and you can see the perimeter weighting here, okay? So what Cobra has done here with these clubs is they've moved weights to the radials or the radius of the club. That's why it's called Rad Speed. It's not Rad for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. It's Rad because the weight's been shifted radially. So you've got one big weight back here. On this club, you've got two weights here closer to the face. And this is actually like a T-shaped design. If you were to look at this thing, and you can see shots of this here on their website, this is like a T-shaped sort of structure, all right? And what that allows is here, between the T-shape, you've basically got a hollow mass. So this is a very lightweight club. That's what all these new clubs are doing. They're getting lighter and faster and hotter and less spinny for the most part. Another thing I like about this driver is the way they've actually got this little window here so you know exactly what your setup is. So here we've got stated, STD stands for stated, stated loft of 9.0, but I will be shifting this. I'm probably gonna put it up to 9.5. That's what my current driver's at. My test it at 10. I'm gonna try a couple of different setups for you out on course. We're gonna see if we can get this thing dialed in in an on course review. Make sure to hit subscribe. Make sure you keep coming back here to Let's Play Through. Watch all the videos, because again, if you missed out on the Blue Tees giveaway, I'm so, so sorry for you, but we're giving away things all the time on this channel. So look out for those. I'll catch you back here next week on another edition of Let's Play Through.